Another battle brewing is shielding companies from liability during this pandemic. Senate Republicans say that they will not support Democrats' call for further state and local aid without liability protection for companies. Joining me right now is West Virginia Senator, Senate Commerce, Science and Transportation Committee member, and Senate Appropriations Committee member, Shelley Moore Capito. Uh, Senator, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Maria. Yeah, it's pretty embarrassing that we're in the middle of a pandemic and the first thing that happens was these two guys clash on what should be uh, the role of what you guys are doing. H how's it going on day two back, uh, back at work? You know, it's seriously, uh, it is a bit embarrassing because uh, we've got great precautions here at the U.S. Senate. We're all wearing masks and we're outside of our office. Uh, we have no staff here, very few staff here. Uh, we've been uh, brought, you know, uh, in one at a time to vote and all of those kinds of things. We've got a lot of things to do here. I mean, tomorrow we're going to be hearing about the aviation industry and the impacts of, of the coronavirus on that. And with certainly with the news that we see recently, she huge impacts on aviation. I mean, my own airport had nobody come through TSA a week ago Friday. So, uh, you know, I think we've got lots to do here. We've got uh, other, other bills that are moving forward, plus our nominations and judges. This is all important work. Yeah, I know. And, and you've got the confirmation of, of John Ratcliffe coming up as well as DNI, also supporting the economy. I mean, look at the list of companies that are going bankrupt. The Treasury Department announcing that it's borrowing a record $3 trillion in the second quarter to pay for coronavirus relief measures. Senator, uh, when does this all come back to bite, given the fact that now our debt at $22 trillion is higher or $23 trillion is higher than the actual size of the economy? Yeah, and I think that's a source of great concern to all of us, which is another reason for us to be back, so that we can assess the impacts of the uh, of the CARES pr package and other uh, uh, issues that we've put forward to try to help, to see where there's more help that may be needed, but where also, now that the people are beginning to go back to work, the economy can begin to slowly pick up, that we need to, I think, assess and, and, and just not keep throwing money at a problem that uh, we know exists, but we're not sure it's solving the problem. And and so I think that uh, I think this is a good time for us to be in our uh, in our jobs, looking at the programs, making those judgments, and getting good testimony at the same time. Well, we know all your colleagues on the ha on the other side of the House are not coming back because Speaker Pelosi said they're not coming back. Kevin McCarthy out with this program. He's got a three-phase plan to get Congress back. Uh, but but we, we don't see anybody on the House side. Will you walk us through this issue of liability? Liability protection is a key issue. If somebody goes back to work and all of these restaurants start opening and then that person gets sick, well, who's liable? Mm -hmm. I think this is a source of great concern for restaurants, in particular for nursing homes, for healthcare facilities. Uh, you know, I mean, it's going to happen. Uh, as we gradually open, somebody is going to uh, be infected one way or the other. And is it through the fault of the business? No, I think it's just because the spread is still there. We know it's still going to be there. And I think we have got to get right. liability protections forward. It's just a necessity uh, for yes. uh, private facilities and public facilities. All right, Senator. Thanks very much. Shelley Moore Capito, we'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Back Sounds in a minute. Great, Maria. Thank you.